Where is the last great frontier of our world? For many, the answer to this question lies at the bottom of the ocean. However, science tells us that there's a place even deeper and inhospitable than the bottomless depths of the sea. This mystery environment is called the Earth's inner core. The core itself is an incredibly hot iron ball about the same size as Mars that has been rotating for as long as humans can recall. But after many years of spinning continuously, scientists believe this mysterious inner core may have changed its rotating course and might jolly well be heading in the opposite direction. But how is this possible? And what does it mean for our continued existence on the surface of the Earth? Could it lead to serious problems? Our Earth is dynamic. On the surface, it's all lush and beautiful with expansive land space and large bodies of water. A thousand feet underneath this, you'll find more water. And if you continue to drill, you'll find other natural mineral resources and eventually the Earth's core, which is located several thousands of kilometers underneath the surface. Scientists have worked with this arrangement for many years, but ironically, the Earth's interior remains a phenomenon that has not been cited by anybody. In fact, the deepest we've drilled into the Earth is around 12 kilometers according to official measurements. The Earth's core is located further down at around 4,000 miles below ground level. This means it is literally impossible to get a sample of the Earth's core. So how do we know it exists, and how are we able to discover its features and composition? In situations like this, when things seem impossible, humans tend to turn to science for help, and thankfully it didn't fail us this time. Although it is physically impossible to visit the Earth's core, scientists are able to explore the environment using seismological magnetic field data and other theoretical calculation methods. Miyaki Ishii, a professor in Harvard University's seismology group, compared these methods to medical imaging. But rather than using CAT scans and X-rays, we rely on waves emitted by earthquakes. In the same ways as X-rays, seismic waves tend to bounce around, changing direction and velocity, depending on the medium and material they travel through. By observing the speed of a wave between two tracking stations, we can understand the features of the medium it is traveling through. And this is how we are able to determine the characteristics of the Earth's core. From past observations, the Earth's belly is believed to cover a radius of almost 2,200 miles and contains around one-third of the Earth's mass. Generally, the Earth's core is classified into three layers. The deepest region painted in yellow is known as the inner core. It is extremely hot and dense, with temperatures that sometimes exceed 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 5,500 degrees Celsius. According to scientists, this insane heat is caused by the slow decay of radioactive elements left behind from when our planet was first formed. The next layer is the molten outer core, which is colored in yellow, and finally, you have the mantle layer painted in red with the brown thin crust tapped around it. According to scientists, the innermost layer of Earth's core is believed to be spinning counterclockwise, just like the rest of the planet. However, two scientists, Yi Yang and Xiao Dong Song, who have been studying seismic waves from earthquakes that have passed through Earth's inner core since the 1960s, found something weird in the records. According to this revealing research by the Peking University scholars, the speed of the Earth's core has slowed down over time. In fact, according to the details published in the journal Nature Geoscience, the Earth's core is believed to have paused briefly in 2009 before restarting again to spin in the opposite direction. We show surprising observations that indicate the inner core has nearly ceased its rotation in the recent decade and may be experiencing a turning back, they wrote in the study. When you look at the decade between 1980 and 1990, you see clear change. But when you see 2010 to 2020, you don't see much change, they added. Naturally, the rotation of the planet's innards is driven by the magnetic field generated in the outer core layer and effectively balanced by the gravitational effects of the mantle. Our knowledge of Earth's core rotation is quite important because in the end, it could shed more light on how the different layers of the interior interact, as well as how other processes at the depth of our planet work. As mentioned earlier, both the Earth and its core spin in the same direction, and of course, you can expect that the Earth's core spinning in a different direction would change some of the natural processes of our planet. For instance, the Earth's core spinning in reverse would cause the ocean current to switch from the Atlantic to the Pacific 
which would eventually have drastic effects on the atmosphere. Expectedly, the average global temperature would more or less remain the same, but critically, about a quarter of all the deserts in Africa and Eurasia would be replaced by either woodland or grassland. At the same time, green areas like the Amazon basin would become an arid wasteland. But that's not all. Places like the Russian steppes would be positively balmy. Areas around northwestern Europe would suffer extremely harsh winters, and the Atlantic sea ice would extend far across the south. Admittedly, these conditions will most likely be friendly to sustain human existence, but our works would look very much different. Changes to the Earth's core rotation is not expected, but the duration suggested by Yi Yang and Xiao Dong Song in their research has been a huge cause of debate. According to John Vidal, a seismologist at the University of Southern California who was not involved in the research, the inner core rotates quite rapidly and tends to change direction about every six years. Vidal's opinion was reportedly formed after he was exploring data from two nuclear explosions, which occurred between the late 1969s and the early 1970s. However, another geophysicist, Hervo J. Tkalcic, who works at the Australian National University, believes that this is not the case. According to Tkalcic, the Earth's inner core has a rotational cycle of about 20 to 30 years. This contradicts the 70-year cycle proposed by Ying Yang and Xiao Dong Song in the study published in Nature Geoscience. Tkalcic hailed the research work conducted by the two Chinese scientists. However, he was quick to emphasize that the findings should be taken cautiously, because more data and innovative methods are needed to shed light on this interesting problem. This is quite understandable considering that the environment we are exploring is located far away underneath our feet, at depths that are almost unimaginable. We use geophysical inference methods to infer the Earth's internal properties, and caution must be exercised until multidisciplinary findings confirm our hypotheses and conceptual frameworks," he explained. In addition, Tkalchich drew a parallel between the works of seismologists and medical experts, citing the limitations around equipment. You can think of seismologists like medical doctors who study the internal organs of patients' bodies using imperfect or limited equipment. So despite progress, our image of the inner Earth is still blurry, and we are still in the discovery stage. In fairness to the Peking University researchers, they argue that their prediction about Earth's core oscillation coincides with changes in several other geophysical observations, including the length of days and changes to the Earth's magnetic field. In addition, they claim that these observations provide evidence for dynamic interactions between the Earth's layers, from the deepest interior to the surface, potentially due to gravitational coupling and the exchange of angular momentum from the core and mantle to the surface. However, they admit that more research is needed to establish their claims and further expressed optimism that this study would motivate more researchers across the world to design and test new advanced models to further understand the Earth's core. And thankfully, some notable scientists and computer modeling experts have started exploring these options already.